Hello, this is Gabriel Palmer, and I'm going to be talking about Sledge, which is a serverless-first runtime for the Edge. This is work mainly done by Fanny Kishore Gadapale and Sean McBride, with some contributions by Gregor Peach on the compiler side. I'm Gabriel Palmer, and this is a collaboration between ARM Research and the George Washington University. So when we think about cloud computing, and especially cloud computing for new and upcoming workloads like IoT devices, image systems, and connected vehicles, autonomous vehicles, we think about large data centers with massive amounts of resources that can scale for different tenants and provide elasticity for their workloads using mechanisms like virtual machines, containers, and serverless. For these types of devices, imaging systems, and connected vehicles, we often talk about the cloud providing sensor aggregation and stream processing services, but we they usually have very limited real-time feedback for the system. One of the limiting factors here is that the wide area network limits the latency because we have 20 to 50 millisecond round trip times. And the wide area network bandwidth is actually fast expanding as we start getting a lot of these imaging and autonomous vehicles online. So people are thinking about the edge systems to be able to deal with this. Edge systems are um, largely deployed many different small edge clouds that are more local to the actual physical devices. So they have very limited resource scale. And the question is, what should a runtime look for that like? look like for that type of environment where you don't have many resources but you still need to handle as many tenants. One of the benefits of the cloud is that it has a very fast access to the devices. 5G is prospected to have one millisecond round trip time for those devices. And we'll certainly think of performing traditional operations like aggregation, filtering, transformation, and caching layer. But additionally, we'd like to provide things like planning, control, and global situational awareness, all of which fit into the notion of feedback, being able to provide a reply to each of the devices within a small amount of time. So what we want is a multi-tenant edge where we can scale limited resources of the edge system, the edge data center, which is very small, to multiple potentially malicious clients. And their traditional notions of virtual machines, containers, and serverless simply have a higher density and larger startups than you typically want to have to uh, um, use for these types of systems that have a one millisecond round trip time. So what we'd really like is a serverless runtime with strong isolation, both sp spatial and temporal, um, high density, where we can serve many, many tenants on the much more restricted resources, and high efficiency, which in this context means fast startup time in addition to fast execution. So Sledge is motivated by a few observations that process style isolation is usually sufficient if you ignore a lot of the APIs that it can use for the kernel. So VMs and containers might actually be overkill here. So we aim to provide a process style isolation with restricted APIs to the surrounding system using SFI-based sandboxing via WebAssembly, which is a software technique for, for providing isolation. Um, we also notice that process-based function instantiation can be pretty expensive. Fork, exec, wait, container uh, overheads, and link overheads, these are significant and more than is necessary for an efficient sandbox instantiation for serverless. And this notion of kind of race to reply versus long-term execution management, the former being what serverless is for, and the latter being what most existing systems are designed for. So Linux, for instance, has thread run queue migrations and has a complex scheduling policy based on an, uh, something close to weighted fair queuing. So there's this notion of work distribution between different cores and temporal isolation, and conflating both of these generates significant overheads. So given these motivations, we look at Sledge, which is a single process runtime. And across the very top here, you see the different functions executing in WASM sandboxes. Sledge is implemented on top of the Linux kernel, which it only relies on for its networking timers and memory allocation, bypasses the Linux kernel for the rest of its functionality including its executions and its process abstraction. So if we go through how a serverless request will percolate through the system, we have a single event core that's specialized for retrieving 
client requests and associating them with a specific tenant's computation that it should execute. At that point, it puts the request into a global work distribution queue that's optimized for that. Once one of the workers can pull data off of that queue, it will bring it into its local run queue that is very low overhead but provides temporal isolation. We'll instantiate the function for execution. We'll execute the function and only when it's done will it send a reply back to the client. So this decouples the notion of scalable work distribution for which we use a very efficient lock-free queue used in a lot of parallel runtimes like OpenMP from the efficient temporal isolation that uses a variant of round robin to simply provide um, isolation between functions. It also decouples the notion of linking in new functionalities that can be relatively complex and expensive from the sandbox instantiation that needs to that is required for each new client request. And it uses WebAssembly-based isolation to be able pro to provide strong isolation for the system. So WebAssembly is a relatively new, about three to four years old, technology for being able to provide a software sandbox for legacy code. So it supports C and C++, Rust code, etc. They all compile into this intermediate web assembly that can then be compiled for our platform to provide a sandbox. It provides software fault isolation, SFI, which provides memory safety, which is to say a sandbox cannot ac access memory outside of its allowed memory ranges, and it provides control flow integrity, which is to say that a sandbox cannot execute any code that it was not compiled to actually execute. We implement our own compiler called Awesome, and this shows about a 10% slowdown on Polybench on x86-64 over C. So it's relatively efficient, um, and this is versus 20% slowdown for existing compilers. That's for Wathom. Um, on ARC-64 on the Raspberry Pi, it's actually even faster, about a 5% slowdown. The sandbox and the way that we've implemented sandbox enable us to do sandbox instantiation very, very fast on the order of about 60 microseconds. So just to get a very, uh, a very fast preview of some of the results, as we increase the density and increase the concurrency of the system, we can see on the left that when we look at throughput, we get about a 3x improvement over Nucleo, which is a container and process-based serverless runtime that's one of the fastest out there. Um, and we also see a decrease in the 99th percentile by about 4x. So this is on a ping serverless function, so a very, very simple, the fastest that you can possibly have. Um, we also ran this with a few applications, including a Kalman filter, um, some image processing, and a neural network inference task, in addition to an image re resize and a very um, uh, computer vision intensive license plate detection task. And we see that those tasks that are very fast, that would be a good fit for the edge. Um, if it's a very long task on the order of half a second to a second, it might as well be run in the cloud. So for those very fast tasks, um, Sledge ends up having a pretty significant performance improvement um, but then uh, Nucleo. So you can see that we're at about three um, thousand requests per second versus, uh, or sorry, at almost um, 15,000 uh, requests per second versus Nucleos at about three. And you can see that there's a comparable latency decrease for Sledge as well. So we view this as a successful indication that Sledge is a interesting way to think about providing serverless for high density um, systems for the edge. And here are a number of questions that you might ask um, in the asynchronous um, discussion. I thank you very much. Please feel free to ask any questions or have any comments that you may have. Um, and thank you very much for your time.